Hello and welcome to this video for Electric Pages. I'm your host, Robin Mitchell. Today we're here in Nuremberg for PCIM 2025 and it's been a fantastic event. And we are at the Nexperia stand. And I'm joined by my very good friend, Stein, from Nexperia. So, without further ado, before we jump into all of this, just tell the audience who you are and what you do. Yeah, so I'm Steinhaus Nesbach and I'm a Marketing Excellence Manager at Nexperia. For those of you who don't know what Marketing Excellence is, it is essentially technical marketing, blending the engineering, blending the marketing, the two fun things most together. Something that's very, very rare in this industry. Yeah, exactly. Well, exactly, right? <laughs> Fantastic. So everything here has been about power. It's all been very exciting, the, the dominant race between SICK and GAN. And what I'm kind of curious about is what's going on here and what you guys are offering today. Yeah, so this is an Xperia motor driver evaluation kit. Uh, so it's an evaluation kit. We got a motor spinning, right? That's the, that's the important thing. It can go faster. It can go slower. That's the... So everything's working. Now actually, so it's, a, it's, it's the motor driver evaluation kit, and we're highlighting all the Nexperia products we have here. So if you actually look closely, every Nexperia product, not just MOSFETs, but also we have diodes, gate drivers, multiplexes, they have a tiny little Nexperia X. So I, I was about to say, I've noticed there's a little mark across all the chips that are yours. Effectively. Exactly, yeah. So, and that is kind of like a little uh, Find Waldo type of game where you can play around and try to find all the Nexperia products. Except Waldo's everywhere. Yes, exactly. <laughs> because we are everywhere, it's the right? easiest game ever. Exactly. And uh, we also got, uh, we also work together with Birth Electronic. So they supply all the passives. So that's the capacitive, uh, inductors, and uh, resistors. And obviously the connectors as well. Now the goal of the evaluation kit as a whole, it is to allow for evaluation. So yeah. uh, it is for us, it is a kind of an ode to engineers. Uh, so a lot of the evaluation kits we've had the pleasure of using over the years, uh, they tend to always put you kind of down a certain path, yeah. which is often okay, which is, yeah. which is what you want to do if you want to get integrated into the environment. However, we do not have microcontrollers so we are always integrated together with other parts and other manufacturers. Yeah. So and we, you can see that reflected in the design itself. So it's modular, modular, modularized. Mm. It's a long day. Yeah. Into three separate parts. You want the microcontroller. In this case, it's a Arduino. Um, which one is it now? You got the Uno? Or is it? Yeah, the, it's, uh, it's, have a look. You flip it over. Leonardo. Leonardo. There Leonardo. we go. Leonardo. There we go. Because <laughs> I knew it wasn't the Uno. Leonardo, we also support the ST uh, Nucleo board. Yep. Um, and we also can work with other microcontrollers. So we're very yep. flexible and we can work around different uh, controllers. We've got the control board here, the gate drivers, yep. and then we've got all, obviously the MOSFETs on this side. Yep. And really the goal here is the board can be made yours. So it's designed to be hackable. Yep. It's designed to make it your own. So if you want to do sensorless, it's possible. If you want to do censored, it's possible. Field-oriented field control, we have the shunts available. So you can really mold the board into what you want it to be. Yeah. You can even go as excessive. Please don't do this, but if you really want to, we even have it written down. You can put in non-experia products if that is what your design requires for whatever reason. So we've, d we've tried to make it not a promotion of our products, rather yeah. an test bed for your product. Effectively, you want to make a fair platform that people can customize in their own way, but at the same time, have the option to discover what parts you offer and how they work together. Exactly, right? So, because realistically, we know that our product is going to be used together with other Somebody. manufacturers. It's and, and I think that one area I can sort of see that being quite important is things like gate drivers. So, someone might opt for an, uh, an Xperia gate driver, but they might have a silicon carbide chip from somewhere else, for example. And so, they want to make sure the two can still work because one sort of, one common theme I've seen at this event is that even though there are lots of silicon carbide offerings, they all work slightly differently. And as yes. a result, trying to get them to work in different circuits doesn't quite doesn't work the way that engineers sort of want them to do. Yes, exactly. So so we're, we're trying to just allow for the integration to naturally happen and try, yeah. instead of trying to force our solution yeah. down. Now, by the way, this is a small motor. We also do support bigger motors. Yep. So we have a big thick connectors here. Oh, wow. Uh, and that's up to one kilowatt. So the board is rated up to a kilowatt. Um, and obviously, if you want, and that's steady state, if you want to really spike it up, you can go higher. If that board is rated to one kilowatt, that kind of makes me think it might be one of the world's most powerful evaluation kits. Because I don't think I know any other ones that go up to that sort of power rating. Uh, in this form factor, I haven't necessarily seen it. So I've seen some big, yeah, yeah, bigger but setups. That's like that big. I'm talking about 
but it's size. Yeah, exactly. It's, so it's really so, small. Yeah, and, and you can uh, apply your own power connectors. So, and because I, USB-C... I, I, and when I sorry. saw this, I thought they were just screw mounted. I didn't realize they were actually connector points for power. Yeah, exactly. So this is where you get your power in, because yeah. you can do everything between 12 volts up to 48 volts. Yeah. So it's, it's really flexible. Ah, oh, so this is not high voltage, this is high current. Yeah so, yeah. so, yeah, so it's not high voltage. So, uh, so these are silicon MOSFETs, to be yeah. very clear. Uh, now, out of the box, you can plug in the USB-C just yeah. to prove to yourself that it works and everything's, everybody's happy. And then you can go to town on this thing. So you can use your own power sources. You can even use your own gate drive voltage. So you can, instead of using the built-in gate drive voltage, you can switch it to 12 volts, 15 volts. And this is where you've got this expansion header here. So you could remove this and use your own custom gate drive exactly. voltage. Or add your own shield if you really, really want to, right? So, so because again, it's meant to rather be an a bed for evaluating. Yeah. So we're, we're not trying to force a solution. It, it, it almost feels like that. It's, 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 it feels like it's more, not just evaluation, but almost, almost like effectively prototyping a system. So it's yeah. not a case of, oh, let's test, see what a chip looks like. No, no, you could put this in a system with everything else to see if it works the way you want it to work. Exactly. And then you go, right, now let's take that and make it a third of the size because we're going to make it more cu you know, custom to our specific solution. And, and that's exactly it, right? So the size, so this is a bit blown out of size. Yeah. And you might wonder why. And it's a very, very simple reason. Most likely, you're going to want to desolder something here. Yeah. Space you is nice. You don't want to be having two QFM packages next to each other, and you can't desolder. Exactly, them. and yeah. then, or even better, you know, when you have a hot air gun, oh, it and it just blows up. everything away. <laughs> exactly. Off, yeah. So, so you see, also in the part orientation, we've oriented things everything so they don't blow away. Nice yeah, exactly. You know, I'm, happy to, I, I'm really just going to appreciate this design for a second because this is really, really nice. And like you said, if you want to make changes you've got so much space here and here so that your soldering line doesn't flick something else up or something tombstones and then you can't that's you can't solder things off and we've also worked to avoid tombstoning in general yeah. we can't guarantee it of course but so if you are sw swapping out some resistors or capacitors tombstoning shouldn't really be happening also it is quite heavily documented everywhere oh that's gorgeous look at that so you shouldn't necessarily need to jump into the user manual at all times so which also means that you're not going to get a situation where you flip the board and you forget that the connector is now flipped and you think that one's ground when it's actually high voltage exactly power or exactly yeah. right and, so, and that's really the point there so we're trying to make things as usable and as simple to really get yourself up and running we even have a statement mm. i've been told not to give it but i'm going to give it anyways give it anyway Go so on. which is for, from box to getting the kit up and running the statement is you can get yourself up and running within two minutes. So you're not supposed to sit not there. Not verified. Yeah, not verified. <laughs> but it, realistically, you could do it in two minutes. Yeah, well, we have unboxing videos where we actually do the in unboxing two in two in videos. Two minutes, and it's exactly. working. Yeah. Fantastic. And uh, just a quick question about this port. Is this your baby? You know, if I say it's my baby, I have a, I have the engineer who designed this. I think he's going to challenge me for ownership. He's going to come in and start with but, boxing. But it is very close, yes. Very close. It's a very joint baby. Exactly. It's a, joint, it's, a, it's a shared parentship. Yeah. So. <laughs> Fantastic. So just before we wrap up this video, I've got one more question for you. For the audience who are watching this episode, if they want to get involved with Nextperia Solutions and want to get their hands on one of these kits, what would you recommend that they do? Yeah. So you can visit Nextperia.com. You can search up the product. Uh, we also have the QR code everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. <laughs> Literally everywhere. So you can go there and you can essentially reserve your board when they become available, then they will become available. Uh, and yeah, you can just get them from a website. They're also going to be available at Disties. Yep. Right? And yeah. Fantastic. And like you say, two minutes to get it working. Exactly. Fantastic. So, simplicity. Fantastic. Thank you ever so much for having us here today. Oh, you nearly dropped that one. That was going to be exciting. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you.